today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a collab video and as you know I love doing collabs and I am doing a face off today and I am doing a face off with Danielle Perry that is the creator of this absolutely amazing collab idea or concept and yeah we're doing a face off and we're doing it with the strawberry dream palette from Lunar Beauty I really like this palette I am the one that really likes the front of this and the palette looks like this. So Danielle drew the shades this time and that is good because when I have drawn shades it has not turned out so good. So I'm going to swatch the shades for you and then I'm going to start to do my makeup and tell you a little bit about Danielle. So these are the shades that we got. So it is plink, pl plink flash, pink flash, and then we have uh, blue diamond, cloudy, sweet dream, and sunset. So this is a pink, a little <laughs> dreamy color story, and I have no idea what I want to do. I think I at least know that I want to take this blue diamond in my inner corner because I really like the duochrome. Other than that, I have no idea. So <laughs> I will think a little bit and it's going to be something pink because pink. So I will think a little bit and then I will start with makeup. <laughs> okay, so let's do this and I'm pretty sure what I want to do. So I'm going to start with Cloudy, this one and take it in my crease and it is such cute patterns in this in the middle row so like I don't want to destroy it but what to do and okay I am going to tell you a little bit more about Danielle I have been following Danielle for quite a long time we have done a collab before we did a face off i don't know how long it was but i will leave it up here and i think that was the first face off i did i'm not sure it might have been and i have been following i'm back <laughs> i think my father called so yeah. um where was i yeah danielle i have been following her for quite some time I think it's like the fifth time I say this now and she had has a break for you for YouTube on YouTube for a pretty long while because she was going through some personal stuff and just didn't have time or motivation for YouTube but now she is finally back and I'm so happy that she has found her way back to YouTube because I really like her content. She's real sweet and she does kind of the same videos as I do and she is a colorful makeup lover and you should really check her out if you are not because she's so sweet. Okay, so I think... I don't know if you even can see this. I hope you can. I might want to go in with... No, I don't know. I don't want to. Because today I am doing a halo eye. And it's going to be pretty toned down. I could make it really like poppin. But I actually think I want to go in with Sunset and Sweet Dream as my halo. And then take Pink Flash on my lower lash line and blue diamond in my inner corner. I just felt for that, so I'm going in with sunset and take it like out here and I don't know how sweet dream is if I can take it without a glitter glue or if I have to use a glitter glue. Glitter glue. I will try without first and if you hear something it is Astrid. I tried to take her out. I closed the door 
and she scratched the door and then she like put her paws under the door and was like this and wanted to get in so I guess I guess we just have to do it with Astrid but I maybe should be happy because she's choosing me over my boyfriend and Daniel she has done a lot of these face off the co last couple of weeks and they are I really love this concept that she came up with and I think it's so fun to see how people think differently about shadows and I I like to do like palette bingos because I feel that you need to be more creative when you are using when you decide which colors you are using the only thing is when you do like a palette bingo or a face off it can go like crap <laughs> but actually this one's really good but I think this palette is a really good palette to do a palette bingo or a face off with or a palette bingo because you can't only get boring shades or maybe you could but I don't think so so um yeah <laughs> now I'm going in with a sweet dream in my halo I almost said cut crease so we will see how this works Maybe I need to cut this or maybe I actually think this works or No, I want to cut this so I take my next glitter primer Because I really want this sweet dream to stand out So I'm going to cut my crease and I don't have a brush for that like the only brushes I am missing is good brushes to cut either my crease or my halo but it's like the most boring brushes I know to buy so I don't buy them and how would I have any of them if I didn't buy them and I take it a little bit out on the sunset shade and then I go in with a sweet dream and just press it on and close my mouth when I'm doing it Maybe I should have done a fake halo, fake halo, f faux halo, where I would take a sunset on my whole lid and then cut like a halo. But I think this is, this is really like light. Maybe this is more like a topper and I think it would have looked really good. Just as a topper, but I like this as well. Now it's just going to like the pink flash is going to be so intense underneath my eye. But I just have to go with the, the flow on that. I'm just going back in with sunset a little bit and blend this a little bit better together. And okay. I think I am happy with the halo like this. It's a really like a nice halo. <laughs> it's a really like cohesive halo and it's not that in your face. I'm just going in with sunset a little bit in my crease because I think this cloudy is maybe a little bit too light for this to have in my crease but It's just a little pop, a little pop halo. So I am going to have it like this. I, I like it, I do. So I'm going to do the other one. You don't need to see that. I'm going to fix my base. Then I come back and Astrid is screaming because she wants attention and wants to, I don't know, 
don't go there. And I just have one shade left, two shade left. So I'm going to fix the other halo and then I come back. Let's finish this makeup. So I will take pink flash in on my lower lash and blue diamond in my inner corner. And I have no idea how this is going to look, this pink flash, because it's really, really pink and I think it's going to stain my under eyes. But I will take it and it might be like a little bit strange with such a bold, colorful, such a strong under eye and not a strong lid, but I actually think this works. So, I think I like this and what did happen here, like a droopy eye. Okay, I will fix my, or the rest of my face. Trying to take a lipstick is always hard for me when I do a pink look. But I will put on mascara, take something in my wash line and try to choose a lippy and then I come back. Did I forget something? Yes I did, I was going to take the blue diamond. <laughs> In my inner corner it was now I put on a pen in my waterline and I was like something is missing so I'm going to take this blue diamond and I am going to spray this and this was a little bit broken when I got a palette I pressed it in in the pan again so nothing to worry about there but it's kind of flaky I it's not my favorite formula but I'm going to spray it and then put it in my inner corner. I don't know how I did forget about this. It would have been fun if I forget about it completely. Oops. Okay, I got a lot on this eye like really really much now i'm putting on mascara and the lippy so this is finished look for my wash line i used boots boots from colourpop and for my lips i used first a lip pencil that is from makeup store that is in fairy tale dream and then i used a lucid lip from kaleidos in fence size and i am trying to use more like lip glosses it's not my favorite, but I think these are pretty like, they're not like super sticky because that is what I don't like about lip glosses. So this is my finished look with the Strawberry Dream palette from Luna Beauty and my collab with Danielle. And I just want to say thank you, Danielle, for doing a collab with me. And it has been really fun and it's going to be be fun to see what you're doing with this shades. I am pretty happy with this. I love the inner corner. If I would redo this, I think I would take the matte shade I have on my lid the whole way and then do a faux halo because I think that would look pretty cool. I still like this. I think this is a pretty toned down halo and I actually like it. And I think even though the lower lash is a really bright color, this pink flash, I still feel that it works really good. It doesn't look like too off. So yeah, I am happy with this look and it feels like it has been a lot of pink and purple. What is Astrid doing? And... <laughs> Yeah, I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to check out Danielle. She is such a sweetheart and I know that you will love her channel and I am so happy that she found her way, way, her way back to YouTube. I hate when I'm going to say something nice and the words is just like bleh. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. I talk really fast. Bye!